Apple's new company purchase will surely bring transit to iOS maps. The Moto X and HTC One Mini have finally made it to AT&T, and believe it or not, Steve Ballmer is retiring from Microsoft. I'm Jaime Rivera, and what do you guys think would be a decent salary for the next CEO of Microsoft? I mean, you never know. All right, this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news as AT&T has just launched their Moto X, LG Optimus G Pro, and get this, even the HTC One Mini. Which is interesting since we didn't get any press events or anything, they just launched the phone, just like that. But anyways, links in the description for the reviews of all these phones are all really good phones, but in the case of me, honestly, the Moto X is way up there in comparison to the others. Leave us a comment down below, are you in the market for any of these? And speaking of the Moto X, a Motorola VP has just confirmed that if you want this phone on the other carriers, they should be coming there in the next couple of days. And he didn't say weeks or later this month or later this year. He said the next coming day, so you can expect it very soon. But aside from that, if you're interested in getting this phone with a wooden backplate, well, apparently it'll cost you $50 extra whenever that's going to happen in Q4. I just still find the idea of a wooden phone to be cheesy, but I don't know about you guys. Now let's talk about Apple as the company has just purchased Embark, and no, this is actually not a verb. That's the name of a company that's famous for their public transit since, you know, it seems that Apple thinks that the only thing we hated about Apple Maps was the fact that it didn't include public transit. It's still hard to know when the collaboration will begin between these two companies, hopefully soon, and hopefully Apple starts fixing the rest of everything that's wrong with Apple Maps, which is everything actually. And for those of you waiting for Notification Center to reach Windows Phone, well, according to some trusted reports, apparently it will be part of GDR3. We don't know when Windows Phone GDR3 is going to be launched, probably sometime in the fall, but yeah, apparently we are getting Notification Center. But aside from that, speaking of GDR3, Nokia has just pretty much leaked the information of what their software package will be called for GDR3, and it's going to be called Bittersweet Shimmer. Um, I don't know why these companies come up with these names. I mean, why don't you call it Codename 5 or Codename 10 or 12? I mean, there's only one number that's called 12 in the market. Why are you going to give it a name like Bittersweet Shimmer? Anyways. And finally, for the unbelievable news of the day, yes, Steve Ballmer has just confirmed that he will be retiring as CEO of Microsoft within the next 12 months, or as soon as they can find a replacement. And by the way, that replacement committee is already working, and it's being led by none other than Bill Gates himself. It's clear that the company is out for desperate measures. I mean, they're financially okay, but sadly their products are not. Windows 8, Windows Phone 8 have not been the success that they want, and they want to become a products and services company, as Ballmer says in his memo. So far, the Xbox is the only successful product that they have. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. How do you feel about Steve Ballmer's retirement? Do you think it's a positive or a negative thing for Microsoft? In my particular case, honestly, he was a great business administrator, a great sales guy, but sadly, Microsoft needs a products person, like Bill Gates. And sadly, this was not a products person. And honestly, in my particular case, I would love it for Bill Gates to come back. But leave us a comment down below. How do you feel? And guys, as always, you know the drill. If you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Everything gets posted and uploaded here first before this video gets filmed. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a great week. And next week will be even better. See you then.